Hi, I'm Nina and this is Intrinsic. This is part four of what's on my iPad. Part one was kind of a general setup and included general apps, including things like websites and YouTube channels that we use. Part two was our favorite math apps. Part three was our favorite language arts apps. And today, part four, my daughter's gonna show you her favorite science apps. Anatomy is a very fun game, but I usually play the other games more. We've had anatomy for a really long time. My daughter showed interest in uh, organs and bones really early, and so I downloaded it before we even had an iPad. I had it on my phone, and she loved it, and that is what made me look for one that was more detailed, and build a body is a little higher level it has information about each of those things so, so she can read about that as she's playing and we've really enjoyed that app build a body I love that one it's kind of like anatomy you can make all sorts of things and you can select a system but the ribosomes get rid of waste and anything that the cells do not want a cell wall is only found in plants and it's stronger okay. thicker and so membranes found in both plants and animals, but it's very flexible, and it's found in every cell. Happy Atoms is a great game, and we have a review on that that you can check out. <laughs> Kim for kids. It's a pretty good game, but I usually, but again, I usually play the other games more. Okay, I'm gonna try it. You're gonna try it. Yeah. Okay, so we need two oxygen and a nitrogen. So I move this around, and I get an oxygen, and what do I need more of? One more oxygen? Tell me if you see an oxygen. Come on, oxygen, where are you? You built this. Oh, there it is, there it is. We did it. What about map weather, Arctic, and ocean? They're really great games. They're put out by the same company, right? Do you, do you know what it is? Marco Polo. Marco Polo, okay. I love those games. They're really fun and fun and funny. Funny? What's funny about them? Well, in map weather, you can blow. You can make things blow away. Blow away. Yeah, in the wind. Marco Polo apps are ones we've had for a long time. I really love that you can explore. It makes it really uh, friendly for young kids. I love that it's not a linear sequence and quizzes with right or wrong answers. That was pretty um, crushing for my daughter when she was younger. And I love that she can just explore and it narrates what you're doing. So as you're putting the pieces together, you're learning the different parts of the animals. You're learning the animals as you're putting them in. And it tells you a little bit about those animals and is a very natural way to learn. This one explores arctic land animals. Oh, I like caribou. Okay, so you put the pieces together. There's the ears. Ooh, this would be helping, this would help with drawing things too, huh? How come? Because you would see all of the shapes that it's made of. This is a muskox. Oh yeah, I, this is one of my favorites too. Yeah? And there's some new things on it, but one of my favorite things is to build things. Ooh. Which is what I'm doing right and now. And you get to find out what all these fish are. What's that one? My eel. This is just a coral. And this mm. is brain coral. I'm going to build the orca. There's some new things that come with the orca. Well, there are new types of dolphins. Can I show you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so after you put it together, then you get to put them in the water. So what's that one? These are bottlenose dolphins. Okay. These are bodos. Bodos? Mm -hmm. They have skin that's pink. Mm -hmm. I can make the dolphin jump. Oh, look at that. They jump. Virtual tea. Do you remember that one? Uh, yes. It's really cool. Can you tell them what it is? Well, it's a fun, well, it's a game. Well, it's a funny game where you wear, where you put on this t-shirt and it shows, like, and it shows the body. And even when it's all, and even when the t-shirt's on the wall. <laughs> yeah. When I saw this virtual tea and the app, I thought this seemed like my daughter would love it, and she did, but not as much as I thought. The only reason is 
because it is easier to scan someone else than it is to scan yourself. So it would be a lot more fun if you had two people, two iPads, two shirts, um, or it was a size that they could take turns wearing and exploring. We did use it in my class and it was a lot of fun. Again, it would have been more fun if I had more iPads, but my classroom wasn't equipped with iPads, so I just had my one for my whole class. And the human body? It's a great game too. Yeah? Because you can select, you can, you can select any system you have, any system available to you. The Human Body is a really fun app that you get to explore different systems. You can feed it and have it digest the food. You can play with how the eye works and it uses the camera. And everything is just so uh, perfect for an intrinsic learner. Um, the one thing that makes me a little uncomfortable is when you're exploring the skin. They have the drawings of the children in just underwear. I, I know it's for science purposes, but it still makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. We always pick the boy because that feels more appropriate, but I still wish he was like wearing boxers or I don't know. I don't feel like you have to see all the skin to explore the skin, but maybe that's just me. I can, I can show you the lungs. Mm. And I can zoom in. Do you want me to zoom in? If it's cool. Push the plus button. Ooh, look at those. Those are alveoli. The stuff going in is oxygen, and the stuff going out is carbon dioxide. Oh, no. I don't want to get stung. Oh, it goes away pretty quickly. And I can do the feather thing. It tickles. Oh, it tickles. Um, first, can I show you the eye? Yeah, you can show me the eye. Why does it do that? It wants to let enough light in. Hey, do you know what I didn't notice is it's using the camera. The image that you see comes in through the lens and it gets put upside down. Yeah, but our brain automatically flips it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do something really funny. What? <laughs> I can do that. Well, I can fix it. I can, I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> the outer layer has all the nerves, some blood vessels that help the bones grow. Yeah. And the second the second layer is really hard and smooth. And this third layer it's spongy, but it's still pretty hard. But this and this is the middle of the bone. It has marrow. Marrow is really important because it makes blood cells. I always brush his teeth after I give him food when I eat on this. Yeah, cuz you don't want cavities. Yeah. Has it ever gotten a cavity before? Mhm. Mm mm. And space. Space is very fun too. The human body and space are put out by the same company. Oh, what company is that? Um, Tiny Bop. Tiny Bop. Space is another app by that same company, and I really like how you're able to explore and follow your curiosity to get little nuggets of information, and it's really fun that it lets you explore the sun and the planets and the surface and the core. What does that sound like? It sounds more to me like fire exploding. Explosion. Oh, Mars. What does that sound like when I, when I do it? Sounds solid. You're right, it is solid. Okay. This is called liquid metallic hydrogen. Ready Jet Go is another space app. And this one we tend to use for constellations and things like that. And again, you get to explore and there's no set linear path. And we really love that with science because that's what science is all about is being curious and discovering. How about Ready, Jet, Go? What do you think about that one? It's great. I play a lot to yeah. learn about space. Mm -hmm. Don't look. Okay. Okay, you can open your eye. It's a lion! That's my zodiac sign. It's a Leo. Just look for, the, for a backwards question mark that forms a lion's head and chest. I don't see it. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Can, now can you see the backwards question mark now? Now I can. What about the Wildcrats apps? Um, I love those ones too. You get to see these animals and sort of do things like the animals do. And in Wildcrats Baby Buddies, you can train this baby zebra named Maze to play soccer. We've really liked the Wildcrats apps. I wouldn't say that you are learning anything you, that you don't find on 
the TV, but if you're wanting more of an interactive environment for them to be uh, exploring and finding that information, then it's really great. Um, Wildcraft, Wildcraft's Creature Power World eventually needs to be updated, but I can show you Wildcraft Baby Buddies. Okay. Which is one of my favorites. Oh, did you do that? I did. So you can move the bird, and then the cheetah will... Spot swat? Mm -hmm. She'll kind of try to play with it. Spot swat's male. Do you want me to show you something else? Um, one of my favorite things are the crocodiles. Well, baby crocodiles learn to hunt by catching things like frogs, minnows, and dragonflies. And that's everything that we have in our science folder. We actually do have tech and engineering in our tech folder, so that will be in a future video. Look for that, and if I have already done it when you're watching this, I will link it below and in the cards. If you're interested in my other resources, you can check out my spreadsheet that I have linked below or our other YouTube videos. And if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Intrinsic, because meaningful learning is driven by desire from within. <laughs> you're pretty cute!